I'm very much interested in making a difference in the human condition, improving the quality of life. And I believe that to gain an appreciation for what it takes to develop a new drug to come on the market, it's important to understand the breadth of basic research that stands behind the development of these pharmaceuticals. So have you ever wondered how a particular drug or pharmaceutical is developed such that they are very highly specific to a particular target in the body and they don't cause illness or discomfort elsewhere? Well, that's because the drugs are developed to bind to a very specific target. You determine the protein that is responsible for causing that disease and you develop some sort of inhibitor or compound that would bind to that target and stop it from acting. But in order to do that, we need to know what the three-dimensional atomic structure is of a protein molecule and that potential target or potential drug. And we use the advanced photon source here. It's sort of like a, a very high, powerful microscope, if you will. So we're going to be talking about how we use the x-rays that are generated here at Argonne and how we apply that to our problems of identifying and designing and building new drugs to come up with great therapies for patients. The group of pharmaceutical companies that use our facility is a consortium called IMCA. That's the Industrial Macromolecular Crystallography Association. What the government is able to do is to provide facilities that no company could possibly achieve on their own. The resources it takes to create a center such as Argonne is extremely expensive, but from the investment that the government makes in this facility, as well as the what the companies put in to support the technology contributes data that has had a remarkable impact on patient lives. So we've been members of the IMCA consortium for nearly 25 years, and we're members along with companies such as BMS, Merck, Novartis, and Pfizer. And we come together uh, three times a year to discuss the technology and how we use the beam lines here. The drugs that have been developed by the companies who use the facility here at the APS have had profound impact on the quality of life. So we're celebrating 25 years of collaborative success here at the APS with the IMCA companies. Although they're competitors, they're working together to develop new pharmaceuticals and new drugs for the benefit of everyone. I really enjoy it because, you know, with the pharma industry, it is so important for people to really understand what we do, why we do it, what our motivations are, and the tremendous impact that this investment makes on patient lives. Mm -hmm.